Hello and welcome everybody. My name is John Hobby. Today we're talking about transportation. This is uh, what I expect my average subscriber to drive. What is this? Lamborghini Aventador LP704. The 4 stands for four-wheel drive. I have no idea. I just made that up. This is just an car, all right? And sometimes you're going to want to travel with your poker chips. You want to throw them in a car. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. See, how do I explain this? Uh, you see, I'm a dad, and when my boy goes to sleep, I'm just like, wee toys. That's kind of why I'm playing with this right now. Look, he has little Hot Wheels tracks, and you can put this on here and just go sailing off into the sunset. All right, well, I'm gonna put that aside. We're talking about the Versa Gaming, Versa Games, 500 poker chip count case. Now, this costs around $60. At the making of this video, I'm sure it will change. So around $60, Amazon is where I got this. And you compare that to like a $20 poker chip case. All right, now, inevitably, somebody's gonna point out, well, you can buy three of these $20 cases for the price of one of these. But I like to point out that it's not the goal to have as many poker chip cases as possible. You don't, nobody's, looking for poker chip cases just to collect. Hee hee, I got three poker chip cases. What are you gonna do with them? Put them on my shelf. They're designed to transport something, okay? And the reason why this has some webbing on it and a latch right here is because this one has failed. Now, I only had like $60 worth of chips in here. So, you know, it was my poker nights. It wasn't like anything really valuable and they spill out all over everywhere. Um, it wasn't on the pavement. Luckily it was on the grass, so we just fished around for them and pulled them all out and it was fine. But if you have some valuable chips, even like a $100, $200 set of chips and they go spilling all over a parking garage, man, what a nightmare and all the dings in your chips. Sure, it gives a little bit of character to them, but that would be really aggravating if your little $20 poker chip case failed. So in that respect, you know, one failure is, you know, renders all three of them worthless and maybe you should have bought something nicer. So that's what we're looking for here, just a little nicer case. This really is just not something I'd recommend to anybody. $20 poker chip cases are out. Let me push that aside. All right, um, and I also wanted to show that for comparison, you can see the thickness difference between the Versa case and that case. Uh, the latches on this are much more robust than that little $20 case. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about the handle. It's just a solid plastic handle, but it feels really solid for lack of a better word. Um, something that I have here that needs to be addressed is the Nanook 910 case right here. Uh, this I have set up for a 300 chip layout right here. 300 Tiki Kings. Um, I customized this, so this was not something that you just buy and put your poker chips in. If you look here, I actually have finally put in some stiffer foam so they don't sag off the edges. This foam actually extends past the soft foam on top, so the chips don't sag anymore. And one reason why that's important, this is, <laughs> there's so much to say, I'm trying to keep this short, guys, is that I want these poker chips sticking as far up above that case as possible into this soft foam up here so that they will be held in place. So you can see, I actually have to push it down to get it to latch, which is what I want. So even if you don't put them in the racks, like in here I have the racks, the chip racks. If you don't want those, just be sure that they're secure. You don't want these bouncing around, banging into each other like high school kids at a party. You know what, I'm just gonna stop that terrible analogy right there. I really like this case as a poker chip case. Heck, I like this case as a camera case. I have camera equipment I carry around in camera cases, not too dissimilar from this one. So uh, this is a reasonable option. This I think costs more than this. I think I paid around 70 or $80. So it's a little more expensive and this one you might be able to get 500 chips into it, but I wouldn't bother, I'd get a bigger case. All right, so that's another alternative to the Versa. I should speed things up a little bit right here. Clay Smith case, by the way, do you see this little lip right here? 
this may not show up. I might have to roll in a picture, but this lip right here will catch your fingers if they hit it just right, and it hurts. I just did that just a minute ago. So that little lip, not cool. But some things to notice here. This is a Claysmith 500 chip count case. So you can see there's a little difference here in size in how these are laid out. The other thing that is thoughtful about the Claysmith case is the feet right here. So there are feet on this side and right here. And they're riveted in place. So when they get loose, they're just gonna be loose. The latches also don't clamp down completely. I haven't had this one fail on me, but you'll notice the clamps don't fully seat, which is a little disconcerting. Um, I'm not sure if these are even in production anymore. You can see the little metal hinges right there. Uh, it comes with these little trays. I mean, it's a reasonable case. The dealer token, I have a puck, it didn't fit, so I just put it right there. Two decks of cards. These keys are actually the keys for this case. They got thrown in here when I transferred everything over here. So this is, you know, just kind of some competition here. And again, I'm not even sure if they still make this, but that's what I have to compare it to. So, so far, my favorite case is the camera case, and then along comes, along comes the Versa. Let's have a look at this case. You'll notice there's no feet on the bottom here, but there are little rubber feet right here. So you want to be careful on what kind of surface you place this on. Fine wood furniture, you don't want to just slam this on there. And this also holds 500 chips. You can see right here, this is my CPS, my championship poker series set, 500 chips. They fit here nicely. There's foam up here. The styrofoam up here is not glued in, so it just comes right out as my three-year-old discovered. As soon as I opened it, he just grabbed this and yanked this out a couple weeks ago. Um, I've traveled once with this, and it works okay. I've noticed a couple of things already. As with most of these non-tray chips that I've experienced, I'm at the $20 one, and some of my friends, and some of the, the Walmart plastic ABS chips, if the chips are leaning forward like this, it's very easy for this lip right here to get caught on those so that the case won't close all the way. So every time I close the case, I always make sure all my chips are away from that edge, drop this down, and you can see I have to push this down a little bit too, which means that that foam is securing those chips, which again is good. We don't want them banging around in there, chipping each other. You can see there's room for some dice or I don't know, whatever else you can put in there. Two packs of cards. It comes with a little ribbon that doesn't work really too well pulling your cards out because it just pulls the other one down. But whatever. It works. It does the job. It's really a straightforward case. No trays to worry about. Nothing to really fall out. I might, the one mod I might do is I might put some little spray contact cement on this and just contact cement this to that beautiful velour, that velvet surface on the top here. Other than that, what else can you do? Maybe put some rubber feet on this base right here instead of on this base over here. There are three hinges. I do a good job securing the the lid. I mean, it's perfect. You can see there is some separation right here of the aluminum. This aluminum feels very similar in thickness to the Claysmith case, except it's ridged. So it's a little more rigid. It's not bad. Overall, I'm happy with this for $60. I mean, just thinking about the effort that I put into this case, I don't want to take away from the ready to run, ready to go poker chip case where you just throw the chips in. The customization of a camera case to a poker chip set is tedious. It takes a lot of work. You have to buy trays if you want to go that route, which costs money and time. It takes a lot of effort to get something squared away. Remember, it kind of pays dividends though because you get to enjoy that. You don't have to worry about your poker chips while you're traveling. And it's just something that I never worry about with this case, like with the locks on it. I mean, it's such a wonderful peace of mind, I should say, that I get with this case. So still my preference here, but cost and time and everything considered, yeah, I can easily recommend this Versa 
case. This first a games case. It's a wonderful case. The handle is really solid, feels solid plastic. This rubbery part right here is not too sticky. It's not going to attract all kinds of lint and dust and dirt. It's, you know, has a soft plastic feel to it. The latches seem really robust. I haven't had a problem with these. The rivets, you know, again, seem to be well done. They're not loose. They don't seem to be coming loose. Uh, as far as a long-term, you see what's going on here? You have to push those back. As far as like a long-term wear and tear thing go, I have, what am I hitting? I'm not sure what, oh, it's this, it was the latch. Yeah, there we go. Oh, this little ribbon is sticking out. Look at this little ribbon. Now I'm just being really pernickety. But you know, it's fine. Uh, something about poker chip cases is, unless you have like little kids like I do, and you don't want them to get into this case, you're not really gonna use these locks. I'm Lots of people I know just would never use these locks. If I were to rate this, I don't, is this new for me? I don't know. If I were to rate this out of 10, I would give this a solid eight, it's right up there. Uh, this is definitely better than average, I would say, better than the $20 ones. I need to explore some wood cases though, as far as like aluminum cases, let's say it that way. As far as an aluminum case goes, I would give this a solid eight. The Claysmith, I would give a seven. The $20 one that I showed you earlier, it's black, but I think it's just aluminum. I would rate that thing a two. I just really dislike that thing. And is there anything else I have to tell you about this case? Nope, that's about it. The one thing I have now is an empty case. I have an empty Claysmith case where I can get 500 chips into that case. And what am I gonna put in there? I don't know if they made some interesting China clays, maybe I could, uh, I don't know, see if these would be my next choice for that case. Please subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a comment. Tell us what you think about cases, case solutions. Like I said, I need to explore the wood case thing. I'm going to get probably another camera case for another set and fill my Claysmith case up. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are great. My name is John Hobby.